this ain't it, bruh. This is not it. I don't, like, this is, this is, this is not cool. Like, I really, I really need to feel better. I, like, this is, this is unacceptable. I'm frustrated because I, I don't sleep at night. <laughs> because I can't breathe. And then, I'm congested. So, even when I wake up, I can't breathe. I sound like a cow. <laughs> like. I do not feel good. I think today my focus is going to be just on cleaning up because I feel like the germs are everywhere in my house. So I'm just going to clean up, do some laundry. I'm probably going to go get myself some soup and all that because I just can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. This is like, and my room is a hot mess. So that's probably why I feel like the germs are just stored everywhere in my room, but is it just my room? It might be the whole house too, right? Last night, well, when we were at Dollar General yesterday, I bought some NyQuil because my mom usually takes care of me when I'm sick. I know I'm grown, but like, that's my mom's job, not me. <laughs> that's so selfish. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I bought some NyQuil because it was the first thing I saw and I was like, let me just get some NyQuil so I can feel a little bit better at least. And when I got to the register, the girl was like, how old are you? Like, what's your date of birth? I need to see your ID. And I was like, why? Like, what the hell? But I realized that it has 10% alcohol. Haha, -ha, I didn't know that. And also, people be using NyQuil for the wrong reasons, you know? And when she heard my voice, like when I started speaking to her, she was like, oh yeah, you definitely need this. So, <laughs> um, you live and you learn. Once again, I did not know you needed an ID to buy NyQuil. I'm actually gonna um, do this tea that my brother suggested. It's really nasty, it sounds nasty, but you know Dominicans and their remedies, we're gonna try something today. Hopefully it makes me feel better. And yeah, you know. My brother says, buy a red onion, boil it with cinnamon sticks. Um, I was like, all right, so what I do after that? Do I drink it or do I inhale it? <laughs> He says, after boiling, the water turns pink. Pour a cup, add a Hall's mint, and cover the cup until it melts. Once it melts, add honey and lime. Put on the jacket, because I went outside to throw out some garbage, and it's cold. I mean, let me show y'all Miami's definition of cold. Hold on. 61 degrees outside, baby. It's winter! Ew. That's so exciting. Um, that's probably why it rained last night, because I don't know. The way it worked here in Miami, for those of you that don't know, we get about three days out of the whole year that's cold aka 60 degrees those three days are our winter okay that's when we show out we put on our tims we put on our boots coats trench coats all that good stuff that's that's our time all right for those of you who want to judge and say that you know that's unacceptable we don't care we still gonna do it because unlike you guys y'all get seasons year round we don't get none of that update on this dang thing it stinks it stinks really bad. I don't like the way it smells. Um, I'm actually scared to drink it because this ain't it. not so bad I think the lime and the honey take away from the nasty onion flavor oh this is easy okay oh, my lips I need some therapy I 
hate being sick because like look at me everything's swollen I got about 13 chins down here <laughs> I just don't feel good but I'm gonna start cleaning my room I'm like taking off my covers everything I'm cleaning everything because germs needs to go <laughs> I have like a tad bit more energy than I did when I woke up this morning waking up is always the hardest part of being sick which is annoying but I'm cleaning up the house can you stay still camera thank you very much I'm cleaning up the house because last night we made a mess with the gingerbread house building and also because I got a lot of germs in my house which isn't cool so I'm cleaning up I put the second load to wash of clothes well my blankets but I took the time out now that I have a little bit better like a little bit more energy and I'm feeling a little bit better to go to my brother's house and upload the video from last night because if you saw my post um, I stated that my freaking i was having oh my gosh this camera doesn't want to stay still i was having technical issues my video wouldn't export correctly and then i also wasn't feeling well after filming for the gingerbread house challenge so i said forget it it was already like 11 p.m and nothing was working right so i said forget it i'm gonna just do it tomorrow because i just don't have the energy for this so i'm gonna go upload it now because my internet at home is not as fast as the internet at my brother's place and yeah. Like J. Cole, homie, could you sign my bar CD? Nigga, please. A album ten dollars. You act like it's ten G's. That food for thought costs the same as two number three. So by the time you see this vlogmas day two would already be uploaded because it took forever but it's processing now and it's gonna be up in the next like five minutes you probably would have already seen vlogmas day two by the time you see this it's a struggle you guys if you didn't know excuse me but putting up videos in general it's just a struggle to from filming like something can go wrong with your camera something can go wrong with anything while you're trying to film to editing uploading uploading takes forever 
maybe because I have some weak Wi-Fi at home, but this thing takes forever. So, yeah, it's just a lot of work. So, you guys, I ended up falling asleep and I slept through the whole day because my aim today was to feel better. And I feel a little bit better, but I'm still not 100% where I need to be. So, unfortunately, this is the end of this vlog. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. I'm trying to feel better. I'm trying to get my energy back so that I can bring more content for you guys. But right now, I just need to focus on my health. So, I hope you guys had an amazing day. And happy Vlogmas Day 3!